Hey guys, it's me, Lego Lee 329 here, doing my first of my Lego Ninja Go reviews on the Ninja Go starter set. This set costs around 20 US dollars. It includes 57 pieces, two minifigures, some weapons, two spin tops, and a huge battle arena for the Ninja Go Spinjitsu game. So let's look at the packaging here. Now, for my newer upcoming reviews, especially for small sets, I will be doing reviews where I actually unbox the sets before you guys and show you the build. But considering I've actually already opened this one, and it's been open for a couple days now, I can't really do that, but I'll show you the box anyways. Because it's a box that LEGO has never really done before. A, what is it called, blister card? Like an action figure style packaging. Now on the front here, this is where you'll find the pieces. And there's Jay and Frackjaw with all their weapons, their two golden weapons. Then on each side, this is where you find Jay's spinner, this is where you find Frackjaw. And here's where you find Frackjaw's cards and Jay's cards. It says starter set, arena included, shows a little battle, shows a ninja go guy, and then um, that's Kai, Masters of Spinjitsu. And then it shows um that dude, who can't, no, I don't know his name. And you got this uh, extremely ugly kid with terrible looking hair, and this other kid with pretty bad hair, looking really stupid, fighting with their ninja go um, spinners, and it shows uh, the Spinjitsu Jojo, which I just got today, and the review of that will be up soon. Then, um, the Turbo Shredder, which I don't really know if I'm going to get, maybe. Then it says, Caution, do not aim do not aim at eyes or face. So, that is the packaging on the Spinjitsu Jojo. I mean, the starter set. Sorry, guys. So, let's take a break and let's see what's inside. Alright, guys. You've taken it home. You've unboxed everything. you built it all. You want to see what you get for your money? Well, this is what you get for your money. Now, first off... This might not look like a lot. It actually looks like nothing for $20. And I will admit, it is pretty much nothing for $20. But in the long run, if you're going to be a fan of this Ninja Go game, this set is awesome. So you have to get this set if you're a fan of the Ninja Go game, which I'm actually becoming a fan. And I plan to collect all of the spinners and all of the um, weapons and um, the cards and everything, if I can. But, um... Let's look at the little instruction book, which is not really a book, it's a little fold-out manual on how to play the game. Uh, first off, there it says J vs. Frackjaw, but um, this is the whole little thing, it just shows all the stuff that you get. Then it shows building the figures, which is simple, and it shows you how to spin. I mean, you can spin them uh, really weirdly, you can spin them however you want, really. No aiming at the face, but it's not really a, a ball, it's, I don't see how this would hit your face, you'd have to ricochet this really hard. Shows the arena, it does not give you any instructions how to build the arena, but it's pretty self explanatory looking at the picture. The cards and those little things. Then here it says step one, choose a ninja go character, three weapons and a spinner, and four battle cards. It says put a weapon on character's hand and place your character into the spinner. Into your spinner. Then it says players say ninja go, then spin the characters toward each other. Uh, step four, when a character falls off, it is still. When a, when a character falls, the character still standing. W the, the character still standing wins. The winner takes the weapon of the losing character. It says play cards any time during the battle. Each card can be played only once. After finish, after finish, return all weapons you won to the players they to the player they belong to. Then on the back here, it shows how these cards work and how you can use them. I'll explain that. Some advertisements for the sets. I have these two sets. I have oh, I have these three. Don't have that one. Then here it just says shuffle shuffle your battle battle deck and place face down. Draw four cards. And if you use a card, you can draw one at the end of the turn, at the end of the match. So that's the little instruction book on how to play the game. But I will explain it to you as I go along. So first off, you get two mini figures which are brand new. You get Jay, who is the blue ninja of lightning. Very cool figure. Now he has a blue ninja hood, which is cool, and then a very simple face. It's a uh, new, but it's very simple. It's got like a little scar there. New torso print, really nice. He's the only one with that symbol in the middle. New leg print, no back printing, unfortunately. Put his little ninja mask on, looks pretty cool. Then he comes with three weapons. You get this golden spear. Probably the only say you can get a golden spear in right now, so that's very cool. Get a brown staff, really easy piece to find. Then a silver katana, which is also an easy piece to find. I will note, though, that some of them have the, like, circular hexagonal ends 
but some have the uh, Prince of Persia style with like the square ends. I don't know why there's a difference, but I don't really care. And then of course you can fit weapons on his back with this little clip. Then you get like the pretty much all new figure. This is uh, Frack Jaw. It's the one that came with him. Only disappointing part about this Frack Jaw it doesn't come with a Sensei Wu hat. Now I have that hat piece, but it's disappointing that you don't get it. But first off, you do get this really cool new bone piece. Very cool piece. Then um his head, his face. I don't really know if you can see that. Has some like chain kind of markings coming down. A pretty evil looking face. He's got this new armor piece, which is printed. Looks real nice. New skeleton body. It looks a lot different. It's really cool. Then he's got the skeleton arms. Now these are different than the arms that come in the sets. These are new ones, but these ones only hold things sideways, which helps you with the game. Um, I will explain that, you know, later on in the video. And then he's got the new skeleton legs. Well, he's also got like a print right there. But the new skeleton legs, which have boots. Now everyone's been like, why the heck did the skeletons have boots? Well, the, the reason they have boots is so they can actually stick in their spinners. The old skeletons will not stick in the spinners because of the way the legs are so flimsy and don't have much on the bottom. They won't, so that's why LEGO gave these skeletons boots. It might look weird, but in the uh, end run, if you're a fan of the game, it's going to help you. So those are basically the figures. Now, let's go on to some of the extra... Well, oh, hold on, never mind. Hold on, i got to show um, Frackjaw's extra weapons. Um, you get this sword, which is cool. And uh, get this uh, flail, which is gold. Only set you can get a gold flail, and pretty, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure too. And it's also very rubbery this time around. It used to be pretty flexible, but this time it's actually completely made out of rubber. So now let's go on to um, the cards that you get with this set. Okay, so first off, the two main cards that you get with this set are Jay and Frack Jaw's playing cards. Now you can see Jay here, just holding his golden spear, looking all cool. When not the back it says Ninja Go. Pretty cool. And here's Frackjaw, his flail, his hat, which is unfortunate doesn't come with it. Very cool cards. Now you place these cards on these little uh, stands here. You get each um um person comes with, or each character comes with a little stand that you basically just put like that and balance the card on. Jay's is blue, Frackjaw's is orange. So Jay represents lightning, Frackjaw represents fire. And, um, but you actually you can, probably can't do that in the long run because you have to end up using these pieces for some of the abilities with the cards, which I'll show you later. So those are the two cards that you get with uh, the figures, for the figures, which are, I guess, exclusive to the set so far. Then you just get some random playing cards. I don't know if they are random. I hope that they are exclusive to this set, but I know one is, and I'll show you which one isn't, which one is the one that's, um, this um the one I also got in the Spinny Two Jojo. We got a card here up for grabs. Um, win if both players fall. So that's a cool card. And that actually has happened to me a couple times. Off balance. This is only for the ninjas. Opponent stands character on one leg until player wins. So very cool. Then uh, here cut and run. Give up skeleton arm to avoid losing. This is only for skeletons, obviously. And here, force field, build the above spinner and, until player wins with then remove. You can see the above spinner, that's when you have to use these little pieces. So say I use that piece with J, you gotta put these pieces like that on there. So, I mean, that's when you have to use those pieces, but they're also used for stands if you're never going to use these cards. But, I mean, if you're really going to get into this game, you're going to end up having to use these cards eventually. And this is the card that I got also in Spin to Jojo. The Flame Pit. Lay down card. Opponent loses a spinner, touches it, then remove. So, very simple. Then we got a uh, Trade Off. Give up headgear to avoid losing. It's the same thing as Cut and Run, but it's just for ninjas. Got Throwing Star. Also, throw down card during spin. Throw card during spin, which is very strange. I don't really understand what that's supposed to do, but I guess you just kind of throw the card in there and hope that it... Knocks the guy off balance, that'd be interesting. Then smoke screen, which is probably the weirdest one. Opponent spins with eyes closed until player wins. I don't know why you'd want to spin with your eyes closed, but I guess that's why it's a good card. But those are the cards you get. Now the only way that you can play these cards is, let's say here, let's, uh, this is Frackjaw. You see he has four for fire, and this one has two for fire. You have to match or have more of the fire, like, power to be able to play this card. So Frackjaw, he can play that card. But let's see if Jay can. 
Jay also can play that card. So both of them can play that card. Now, uh, Frack Jaw, he can play that card, and, and Jay can play that card. So both of them can play that card. Frack Jaw, well, he can't play this card because he doesn't have any for the um, ice power, but it's also a, only a ninja card. And also one thing, your player has to be holding a golden weapon in order to play cards that have that symbol there. But um, Jay can play uh, this card. You can see he can play that card. And um, Flame Fit, Flame Pit, Frack Jaw can easily play that card. And uh, Jay, Jay, um, Jay can as well. Cut and Run, this is obviously only for skeletons. And you have to be holding a uh, the opponent has to be holding a golden weapon, but Frack Jaw can play that. Then, uh, Off Balance, obviously only for uh, skeletons to use as well. But uh, Frack Jaw, he can play that card. Up for grabs is for everybody. Frack Jaw can play that card, but no, Jay can't play that card. So, you can see, he can't play every card. Then on uh, Force Field, Jay can play that card, but then again, Frack Jaw can't play that card. So, in the end, you know, basically most of them can play about six or seven of these cards, seven of the eight cards. But, um, those are the cards that you get. Very cool cards, I must admit. They're good quality, like cardboard, and they look very cool. And they're useful for the game. But now, let's go on to the spin, okay? So here's the actual battle game and the arena. Here's the arena. It's very, very large. Here, let me just kind of pick it up for you guys. It's actually very, very bendy and kind of malleable, if I guess if you want to use that word. It's very large, but it's only consisting of a couple, like, 20 pieces. But very cool and very useful for the game. I think if, they, if you're going to be a fan of the game, you have to get this. I know there's, like, a $15 Ballad Arena set. That's, like, a big piece of plastic, kind of like a Beyblade or something. But, um... This one is um, cheaper, or it's a little bit more, but you get two spinners. That one, you only get one. I don't even know what spinner you do get. But now let's go into the actual game. So what you're supposed to do for the game is choose your character. So I only have three spinners. I'm not, I don't have one with me right now. Then you choose your character, and you choose your three weapons. I'm just going to choose J, you know, and choose the weapons that you provide with them. And you also just choose your cards. So I'm not going to use the cards. Right now, I think you probably can. it's probably pretty self-explanatory what the cards do. So I'm going to choose J and Frackjaw, and just use the weapons provided. So I'll start Frackjaw with his bone and J with his golden spear. Now, let's see how they spin. Well, first off, let's just spin a spinner without any, um, you know, guy on it. These spin ridiculously well. Let's just go there. That's it spinning. Still spinning. That wasn't even my best spin ever. Let's turn it a little bit. Let's see there. These spin for a heck of a long time. So, I mean, you guys get the idea of how long these spin. They're very sturdy. They spin a lot. And these things are very heavy and weighted. So that's going to help them spin in the long run. Now let's try and spin it with the character on it. It's a little bit harder. But, I mean, it's still possible. You can see there, he's spinning. It will probably move the base around a little bit, the, the arena. We can see he's spinning. He's kind of stuck in the corner there. So, yeah, you can see that these things spin really well, and I'm very impressed of how well they spin. How do they spin against each other? So, I mean, I'm the only person here. I don't have anybody do this with me. But we're going to spin both of the spinners and see how they battle. So, Ninja Go! Whoa! So let's see who dies. Go. Go. Oh! Come on. Come on, who are you guys rooting for? Let's see who wins this round. Come on. Come on, hit each other. Whoa. Holy. Well, that was very unsuccessful. You see, that's my first run showing you guys, and neither of them killed each other. Now, that might be due to the fact that either these spinners are never been on this table, or because I'm spinning both of them, it doesn't work as well. I don't really know. But that time they didn't really kill each other, so let's take a break and try again. You guys ready? Let's hope it works this time. Ninja, go! Come on. Hit each other. Whoa, okay, there we go. You gotta see it to work there. And, yep, so it looks like Fracjaw won the first round. So he gets to take Jay's weapon, or the person who's playing as Fracjaw, gets to take Jay's weapon, so Jay is left with only like one or two lives now, and he has to get a new weapon, so let's give him his little staff. Fratchaw can keep his weapon, and 
Let's try spinning them again. Okay, guys, so just so you know, I switched Jay's weapon. But let's do this. One, two, three. Let's get them to spin. Ninja go. Oh god, that was a terrible skin. Come on. Let's see if they can actually do something this time. Come on. You got this, Jay. Oh, well, Jay actually doesn't got that. <laughs> um, but you can see Fractal yet again won another round. So, Jay, well, I'll just have to give up this weapon. And he can keep this weapon because that weapon wasn't really doing anything for him. So for right now, Frackjaw is up two to nothing. So let's have another round of spinning. Okay, let's spin them yet again. This could be the last round, or Jay could get his first points on the board. So, you ready? Let's spin these two. One, two, three. Ninja, go! Whoa! Oh, okay. You guys just saw that both of the players fell off. And I was hoping that would happen. You can say I kind of dropped them, which is a little different from what I'd done before. But both the players fall fall off, fell off. So if you remember, I had this card here called Up for Grabs. You know, I could throw that card in and say my character was Fractjaw. He has enough firepower to be able to use that card, but Jay doesn't. So now Fractjaw wins. So technically, Fractjaw won, and he can take you know Jay's final weapon and. There. So now let's go on to a final thoughts of this starter set, and I'll give you my rating and all the wrap up. Okay, our... guys, final thoughts. Now I will have to tell you this right off the bat, right here, is that I was not successful pretty much any of the time. Um, I always failed some way to get these guys to hit each other. They just slowed down, and I don't know why that is. Usually, uh, especially on the wooden table that I was using before when I was just first got this set, they would hit each other most of the time. But I don't know why, but maybe it's the plastic or something wasn't working out for these two. But I will say that they do spin really well, and if they hit each other, it could actually be a very fun and enjoyable game. And you saw how Fragile won and everything. So, yeah, that's pretty much my wrap-up on this set. I gotta say, it's awesome. I really like this game. I like where they're going with these cards, and I think it's a cool new thing that LEGO's doing. And some of the Ninja Go sets are a little bit weird, but they're still cool. And I'm actually going to give this set around a, a 10 out of 10 just because the game is pretty fun. And I really think if you're going to get into this game, this is the first set to get. Or if you're going to try out this game, at least try. Which I do recommend doing. Just got, get this set up. It's not much for 15 or for $20, but overall in the long run, it's a cool thing to get. And this is Lego Lee 59 signing off. Sorry this review was so long, but I'm kind of explaining all this. Some of the other reviews with these uh, Ninja Go, like the single packs, won't be as long. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.